Hey, it's Bart again with Wilson County Schools. Have you ever wondered what goes in behind making a decision for an inclement weather day for our district? The answer well, may surprise you, maybe not. Everything starts with the National Weather Service, their national office. In fact, just taking a look at some information this morning. We are under a winter weather advisory that begins tonight and goes through tomorrow for some possible minor ice accumulations. Wilson County on the fringe of the advisory area, but nonetheless, it has our attention and it's something that we're paying very close attention to. Now, many of you may have countless weather apps that you look at. In fact, I'll bring up one that's very common. Uh, most of you have, and it's uh, this, this guy. Well, <laughs> this app has, wow, snow in the forecast for well, five of the next 10 days. I know it's exciting to look at a lot of times, it even gets me a little bit excited, but we live in the Mid-South, we live in Middle Tennessee, and anyone will tell you if you've lived here long enough or you can ask a, a seasoned meteorologist, predicting winter weather in our area can be very, very tricky just based on a lot of different circumstances. But nonetheless, to, uh, going into tonight and perhaps in the next week looks very interesting. So there's a lot of things that play into it, but the National Weather Service, Nashville office is our primary source where we look to for that information in making that decision. In fact, they are going to have a briefing with our district here in just a few moments. Come on, let's go take a look. I'll show you. Okay, I've arrived at the office of our district's safety director and it is Mr. Steve Spencer. He, along with our transportation director and a representative from HR and one of our SROs, they are inside getting uh, the latest information from the National Weather Service. So let's go check it out. Driving this. So Mendel's urgency on how far south they'll get, where it's up in the Northwest, we're starting to get some of those freezing temperatures um, up into Kentucky and some parts of Western Tennessee. All of freezing. We do our best to make sure that we don't uh, get any child hurt, that we don't jeopardize any parent trying to get their children to and from school. Uh, uh, we take, try to get as much information as we can from our uh, local authorities. We call surrounding county school system, uh, trying to determine what they plan to do that the following mm -hmm. day. So we try to process as much information as possible to make the best decision as possible. Sometimes we're right on, spot on, sometimes we're not. Mm -hmm. And we're willing to, to, to do it that way. Err on the side of extreme caution. Yeah, that's exactly right. Kind of give people a little snapshot behind the scenes of what goes into ultimately making a decision. Well, the first thing we have to do is, is we try to communicate with the Weather Service and we try to get as much information from them as we possibly can about the, you know, the forecast models and, and, and what, what do they think it's most, most likely to do, what, what do they think the, the weather will look like when it gets here, what time do they think the weather will arrive here. And, and then a lot of it depends on what happens overnight. You know, we're typically in this part of the country, we're always on, seems to be on that line. Right. You know, the 32 degree line seems to love to straddle Wilson County. And and if the forecast model says that the, the, for, the freezing line is going to drop down south and it usually means more snow and, and winter weather, if it stays up to the north, then it generally means we're just going to have rain. But you don't know that. Mm -hmm. You don't really know how the weather is going to play out until three or four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. We are a United School District. Mm -hmm. So if we have uh, hazardous road conditions in one portion of the county, we close the entire district. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had several times in the past that I've been here, we have had snow events that impacted the southern part of the county and Mount Juliet 11 and had nothing. Mm -hmm. And we've closed schools in Mount Juliet because Watertown had two inches of snow on the ground. Right. On the other hand, we've had snow events that just barely crossed the Cumberland River and, and stayed in the northern part of the county. And, and Watertown sometimes didn't even get have rain from it. Mm -hmm. But we've had to close the entire county because one portion of the county is, has hazardous road conditions. And that's potentially the situation we face as we go into this evening. And that's what we're looking at. The, the National Weather Service models right now is, is predicting that that 32 degree line is gonna straddle the northern part of our county. Mm -hmm. Uh, if that line pulls down the way they think it will, then we're going to have some ice and, and winter weather accumulation in the northern part of the county and rain in the south. Mm -hmm. If that if the, the, the low wobbles just a little bit and shifts north, we'll just have water. If mm -hmm. it shifts a little bit further south, we may have more ice impact in other parts of the county. Right now, we just don't know. 
So hopefully that gives you a glimpse into the process of what goes into a decision. And from there, those gentlemen will give their recommendation to Director of Schools, Dr. Donna Wright, and then that announcement comes to me to send out to you. Now, what you can expect is an announcement coming out a little bit later today on what the plan is, is for tomorrow. Uh, that should be coming by late afternoon, so any new information that comes down, be sure to let you know. Until then, be safe, stay well, and I'll talk to you again real soon. I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools.